farm animals don't usually swagger through the capital in modern times. But these four goats took a walk through central London to the top of the South Bank Centre as they were invited up on its rooftop garden to mark the end of autumn and the start of winter. It was, it was a, a, an idea that sort of came to me a few months ago and I thought what a brilliant idea if we could have goats grazing the meadow at, at the end of the year on the last day which they're, which they're doing now successfully and you, you can see they're absolutely loving it because um, for the goats, this is the first time in their life they would have had this opportunity to eat these wonderful plants, but it's the most natural thing for goats to eat. It's what goats have been eating on this earth uh, for thousands and thousands of years. The, the goat's just gone in now to eat some chives, which, which he's going to love. <laughs> this, is, um, this, is a, yeah, this is sort of a, a, an autumn bash where so we, the, the goats have been completely successful. We're, we're, giving away, uh, we're giving away flower seeds, we're giving away runner bean seeds, calendula marigold seeds, nasturtium seeds from the garden for people to grow next year with fact sheets on how to grow them if they've never done that before. We're allowing people to dig up mint, different types of mint, apple mint, rock and mint, chocolate mint, peppermint, which they're, which they're actually planting in pots and taking away with them for free. Um, we're allowing people to dig up calendula marigold plants to take away for free. We're doing green woodworking. That's, that's making furniture how our ancestors did, using green woods. People were having a go at that on the shaving horses. Um, so it's, it, it, the day's going great apart from the rain. It's only the rain that suddenly scared people away. Grounded Ecotherapy managed the garden with the help of formerly homeless people who tried to rebuild their lives through gardening. 